हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल सब चंगा सी आई होप दैट यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वीडियो प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम एलिमेंट्स अपीयरिंग मोर देन 25 परसेंट इन सॉर्टेड एरे नाउ सॉरी फॉर बीइंग लेट लाइक वाइल आई वाज मेकिंग नोट्स फॉर यू आई कुड नॉट राइट प्रॉपर्ली बिकॉज लाइक आई गॉट इन टू एन एक्सीडेंट येस्टरडे सो माय राइट हैंड इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली आई हैव टू होल्ड इट एंड देन राइट सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस प्रॉब्लम इटसेल्फ इट जस्ट सेस एंड या दैट्स रीजन आई कैन नॉट आल्सो टाइप फास्ट not sure like these two fingers are not working so i'm typing with just three fingers cool um it just says that we are given and the problem itself is in the title itself elements appearing more than 25% in the sorted array right now it says that i am given an element array integer array sorted in non decreasing order which means i have a sorted array that is again see everything in a problem can be used in future so please remember that i have a sorted array and it is in the non decreasing order that is the order which i have given there is exactly one element one integer in the array that occurs more than 25% of time again it says there is exactly one integer which occurs more than i'm not saying more than equal to i'm saying more than 25% of time if i say that i have n elements in my integer array that element should occur more than 20 n by 24 so let's say my target is n by n, n by 4 so my frequency should be more than this target now okay when i say frequency should be more than this target it is simply i'm reading the question down return that integer okay i have to i have to just re return that integer same example only one example is more than sufficient to handle these kind of problems again we will go on to all the approaches to solve this so uh first very 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 basic thing we wanted the frequency to know the frequency of every element in standard we use the hash map right hash map or unordered map so we can just simply do a one thing we can iterate on all the n elements of my entire array and when i'm iterating on all the n elements i can keep track of the frequency of every element then i would know if the frequency exceeds n by 4 then that element is my special element i and i can return that integer itself so it is the same thing i have this array i will have a hash map i know my count should be more than n by 4 n by 4 is my target which is what i aim for so i can just simply use a hash map to know its frequency as simple as that you can just have a hash map of counts or frequency whatsoever you want you will just iterate on all of your elements and will keep on increasing your count of frequency and hey see there is another modification which you can do you can here itself check as soon as the count exceeds your n by 4 you can just simply return the nums from here itself or else what you can do is you can just simply again iterate on the entire map and see if any of the values is more than count simply return that specific key which is the element itself because map can contains key and value key is the element value is the frequency so by this you can ultimately get your key and else you can simply return the minus one in the end if that is not possible so you saw that you simply iterate on the entire array but you use an unordered map to keep the frequency so the space is o of n also and time is o of n so is it good now the interview will ask you a follow up which is what can you improve now you just heard one thing in the beginning i said specifically mark everything which is given to you you were given that the array is sorted again you have these two stuff you have these two stuff right now i ask you just optimize one thing you cannot optimize time without optimizing space it is like it is kind of not directly possible to optimize time when both are same it is not directly possible to optimize time without optimizing space so firstly it's obvious that if i want if the interview is asking me to optimize i have to think of optimizing space first which means i have to get rid of this unordered map which i was using so why was that un again why was that unordered map used unordered map was just to know the frequency of that specific element again I know that the array was sorted. Now, when you hear the word sorted, the first thing which comes in your mind is binary search. But then you can just again go into a deep hole that how to even apply a binary search. But again, my main task is not to apply a binary search. My main task was to get rid of my unordered map. Yeah. So what I can do is I know okay I have to get rid of of my unordered map. So indirectly i should be able to know the frequency of that element as soon as possible. so one thing what i could do is that i know the elements are sorted which means elements which are same will be together 
and my only condition i don't know to, i don't want to know all the frequency of element i just wanted to know if the frequency of that specific element if it is more than my target here the n was 9 so my target was n by 4 which is 9 by 4 it is sorry for bad handwriting uh, it so it is 2 so now my main aim is that my target should be more than 2 that's my main aim so if i'm at this element can't i just simply go and check for my target like i can just simply go and check for my if i am at the i index i'll go and check for i plus target because that will indicate i will include three elements which is more than my target as simple as that and if it is same with that of this element which means and if it is same which means a and a these two are elements same for sure in between all the elements will also be same why because it was sorted so that is how again that was not how we thought of okay we will we can apply binary search our main purpose was just to get rid of our unordered map which was using space and that unordered map was used just to know the frequency now we figured out that we don't need to actually know the frequency we just need to know if i have sufficient number of elements of the same type of the same like number and that is for what we can just go and jump on to the i plus target index and check if that has the same value which means okay i am very good with it so what i'll do is i am at this index i'll check for i plus target index if it is same no it is not same which means i don't have these target plus one consecutive elements okay cool no worries if you are at one check for this it is again not same which means i again don't have two to do as the three count as elements i again go and check here okay that is not still there go and check here yeah it is same which means i have target plus one consecutive elements so if i am at the ith index i'll simply go and check for i plus target and with that i would know i have target plus one same frequency elements so again simply i know my target is array size by four i'll simply go on into my entire array and again i'll go and check if air of i is equal to air of i plus target if that is the case then i will have target plus one consecutive elements and then simply return your air of i else i'll ultimately simply return a minus one so with this you saw that you still are using an integral entire array but still now you are using a space of o of one now again the interviewer can ask you optimize it again now in this if you had not known the problem it will be very hard for you to even think of how you can optimize it because the next thing which i'm going to show you is not directly intuitive and in an interview where you have not seen this problem or not seen these optimizations it would be very hard for you to come up with it in that given time frame although if i gave you like if i give you let's say one hour you can still come up with it but in the given time frame you should be knowing how to solve it so that is how again we will see that how we can optimize it again we saw one thing that the, the only thing which, 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 which was given to us was binary search in the last method we did not use binary search right we thought of optimizing it but we did not use the actual functionality of binary search how about if we can use that binary search but then comes is the question comes is how to even apply binary search i want count frequency and all that stuff but if you are saying bhaiya if i want to apply binary search so the only thing which i can think of is i will go on to an element and for that element i will go and check what is the last location so as to know the frequency but for that i will say bro you will take o of n log n time and i have already solved this in o of n so why are you increasing time itself so that binary search which you are thinking right now is not good let's think of something else now rather than going on to all the elements is it possible that for any specific given i, I just go on to any specific given index and with that index i just do a binary search for that specific index of the value and i can get the leftmost and the rightmost index for that specific value and from that i can know its count but bhaiya, the, the same thing you showed previously also you went on to one index you went on and check for the leftmost and the rightmost to know the count because leftmost and rightmost you can just simply do by binary search leftmost index right, rightmost index you can simply get to know by binary search but bhaiya, uh, did uh, will it still not be o of n log n no bro no bro why because when i say I will do it for this index. I mean, I will choose some specific indexes. Bhaiya, but you will have to go to every index. How will you choose some specific index and will only go to that specific index and do a binary search to know the actual range, which means left and right. How will you do that? Bhaiya, 
so that is how the concept which, which was given n by 4 will come in picture I said everything in the given problem is useful this n by 4 it indicates a lot of stuff let's see firstly where because in the interview you might not get clicked but yeah again I just showed you everything it is being used n by 4 also has a significance in this problem to optimize it how let's see in this question I have my n was 9 my again my target will be 2 my count will be 3 so I need 3 same elements so if I just go on from the very beginning I can make a box of 3 from the very beginning and I can just say for sure if I want if I want these three elements to be seen so if if I am imagining okay it will be x x x x as, as in okay these are same elements so for sure if I can just only check this element at index 2 I am very good with it I don't have to go and check for this and this also right because I am imagining my first box will contain but bhaiya, uh, what if it is an x box yeah, if it is an X box, still, if I can go and check this value at an index 2, still it will consider this box. Yeah, bhaiya, true. Bhaiya, but uh, what if it is this box? Yeah, still it will consider this value. Now, I say, okay, bhaiya, that is done. For this box, it is done. For next box, for next box, again, I can go and check for one value. This will help me. This will help me. This, again, this one value, it should not be this extreme value. It can be also but because in this case it, it can be because you will see that you can still go and check if you just go and check for six because you just want to choose one element which can take all the possible boxes you you, you have to choose just one one element so that you can take all the boxes again i'm just telling you by dry run next i'll show you a formula also for the same that how actually mathematically we can drive it so okay we would need this one element mid it can just solve it out and for sure for the end portion i can just take as the element six and that can also sort it out so with this given example i can see that i can have index two index four and index six i can only check for these three indexes because these three indexes will cover all the possible boxes of size three of size three and that is more than sufficient for me to check that okay i have three elements or not so it will be three into log n for this n equal nine still we have not figured out that it is possible or not but yeah still it is n equal nine let's try for the other values of eight what if n equal to eight then still i will have this box this box this box again i can go and check for this value this value this value two four and six again same what if here it is n equal to ten then again can i make this box which is this box this box this box then again by the above, above formula which you showed i'll go and check for two four and six will you do this but bhaiya now the issue will come how what if i have these elements are same and none of the elements are like have a count of three so you did not check this yeah bro you are true so rather checking rather checking for six in this case i will check for seven so ultimately you saw one thing i checked from the left which is i'll check from the left count of three okay i'll check from the left count of three I'll check. I'll, I'll go and check for this. This is the index which is n by 4. Right? I'll go and check for this value which should be in this last box. Okay, that is true. And I can go and check for the mid. Now, bhaiya, in mid, which one will you check? Bro, if I go and check this, I will consider this box also and this box also. So, that's good. Still, it's just that you should remember that. Okay, I'm going and checking for the last box. And when I say last box, I mean the last box because the box has a count of three. So I, I, I'm going and checking for the last box, which is this last box, first box, which is this box and the middle box. Now, bhaiya, this box, box stuff. Okay, I'll check for this index, this index and this index. Again, you can also go and check for index four also. Uh, that is option like either index five or four. Both will work. It is just the middle index. Now comes that how you actually, it is just for the intuition, like dry run basis, how you are actually going and trying to just minimize the number of checks you want. Here comes mathematical intuition. How? You know that <clears throat> I need to have n by four elements I need to have n by 4 elements. I need to have n by 2 elements. Right? So, and when I say like n by 4, I actually just mean that if I have a size area of size n, I can just bifurcate that to n by 4, n by 2, n by 2. N, sorry, n by 4. That will sum up to n by 2 plus n by 2, which will sum up to n. Right? So, it is just kind of, again, it is a logical intuition which you can derive out of the above thing which you wanted. Again, as I I also mentioned it is highly unlikely if you have not solved this question or if you have not solved this particular uh, follow-up it is highly unlikely that you can be able to get this in a 
interview time like interview time limit now we know that okay uh, we just need to consider these uh, n when i say n by 4 i actually mean uh, the count which is 3 and ultimately it will just overlap this portion will overlap if i just go and check for the seal values but no matter what we can just still go and check for the most values which is in the end in the end and that will give me my answer so i can go with this above and again that is simply by dry running multiple values i dry it for 9 8 10 and you can try for more values let's say 12 and stuff so here you saw i tried for 12 also that if it is working or not cool so here we saw that we will can bifurcate that and we can just take okay i'll take the mid element from the mid like n by 2 elements i, I can take the mid uh, i can take uh, 3 n by 4 from the end and i can take n by 4 from the start with this i'll take three elements which will for sure overlap with the with the count of target plus one and again uh, just for this n equal to 12 i know my count is 40 uh, 12 by 4 is actually 3 so my target needs to be 4 as in sorry my target is 3 my count needs to be 4 which means i need to have a group of a size group of a size of 4 so i can just make it it will be n by 4 this index again for last although you can just say simply drive it from here but it should follow for every n values here it is directly divisible but no ways it can be a 13 14 and 15 with that itself we just figured out that again that value this this value what value to check which is in this case was 3n by 4 what value to check we could a we could only be able to derive by looking at the examples and try running the examples itself and again for the mid you can just simply go and check for a of n by 2 and that is how you can just simply go and check for these three values which will cover all blocks of a size 4 you will see it will cover this if i am at this index it will cover this block that is done this block so this these three will cover all blocks of a size n by 4 plus 1 that is or like i should say n by 4 plus 1 yeah so that is how you can be easily able to derive that you can just need these three blocks to cover everything whatsoever you want. Now, again, the candidates whatsoever you have right now are n by 4, n by 2, and 3 n by 4. And you will just go and try to check the for, for these candidates. Okay, this is the candidate. Now just go and check for the leftmost index of this candidate and the rightmost index of, the, of this candidate, which will give the count for this specific candidate. And that will give me that for sure I have the count. I have the count. And if this count, because I'll go and check for the right, left index for that specific candidate, I'll go and check for the right, right, right index. Again, upper bound gives a 1 plus. Upper bound gives 1 plus. So do a minus 1. So you know the left, you know the right. Just simply do a right, right minus left plus 1 just to know the length. If it is more than the target, which was actually n by 4 in your case, n by 4 in your case. So if it is simply more than target, simply return the candidate. Again, this formula worked only because I have a limit of n by 4. This will change depending upon whatsoever other limit you are given. That is the reason I told you it's specific to this example and we are trying to utilize the problem. Obviously, the, the, the hints which are kind of given, obviously the points which are given in the problem system itself. I hope and for sure with this it will be 3 into log n because you are only changing for 3 candidates and that will be over of log n itself and time is and space is also over of 1 because you are not using any extra space. I hope that you guys got it. So, right, guys. Bye bye. Like casual, eh? Someone tell me like